Hi guys, this is Halloween Flavor Fanatic, and today I have a video on the, I don't know what year it is, but this is the Lowe's exclusive uh, Christmas archway. So what's really cool about this particular piece is that though this is a produced model, though, well, though this is a produced design, this is actually the prototype model. Um, sorry, I got a little messed up. I didn't want to confuse you guys though, because this is not a produced model, this is the prototype model, but this design in particular is produced. So I did buy this one a couple years ago off of eBay, and I got it, I think around for 150, which is actually a really good deal. Um, I got it from the guy, Castle Law. He's the one who typically, you know, lists and sells the prototypes. Um, and I, I won it on an auction way back when he used to do auctions for his prototypes. Now he does it for buy it now. So the prices are, uh, way more expensive, but when it was auctions, you typically could get these, uh, prototypes much cheaper. And I, and I did for this one. So without further ado, let's plug it in and then I'll get into some of the details. So as this is inflating, I am going to talk a little bit. So this one does take a little bit to uh, inflate because it has that clear plastic. So it is made like many of the globes where the part, where the portion of the inflatable that has that clear plastic inflates a lot slower. So it does take a little bit, but it has a very nice fan. It has the YF200, which is the best you can get when it comes to Jemmy inflatables. So it does still inflate rather fast. Let me see if I can help it up. Alrighty, there it goes. It's a little windy, so it is getting pushed back right now, but besides that, it's going up rather nicely. There it is. As I was saying before, this is the prototype model. So I believe there's only one of this, one of these in existence. There could be a second prototype, but I believe this is the only prototype mod, only prototype model of this uh, design. And once some of you may be questioning why I have it outside, and I do use my prototypes outside. I'm going to be completely honest with you. I only have this one and. The cuckoo clock over there but i make sure to take really extra special care when i use them outside you know i feel like there's no point to an inflatable unless you use it in your display so that's why i've been using these outside for a couple of years but as i said i make sure to take extra special care for example this year i did clean this one i used you know dawn dish soap and water and cleaned the entire thing it looks rather well and plus these, these inflatables are all, always under the tree, so uh, they don't get faded, so which is another uh, plus. So now let's let me go into the specs and other details about it. Okay, so inside you have the animation. So at the bottom there's a rotating base, and this rotates this little scene with the penguin and snowman putting together the Christmas tree. And the windows are a little uh, wet right now. It did, I don't think it rained last night, but it rained at some point yesterday. So it is a little wet. And then inside this portion of the inflatable, you have Santa Claus holding a teddy bear. And then behind him, you have the chimney scene and the fireplace blinks, or the fire blinks, I should say. You have the strand of Christmas, Christmas lights going across the entire roof of the inflatable. And at the very top, you have an elf putting a present down the chimney. And the elf is sideways. The light strand always gets caught on this elf. And I've tried to fix it, but you know, it always gets tangled up again. So I just deal with it, but it's doing pretty good today right now. And 
Obviously, you have the archway tunnel. Through the arch, there's nothing particularly special. It just has that tube-like design. Now, in the back, you have the zipper, and then you have to do two uh, blue sections, and that makes up the background of the scenes in the front. Alrighty, so now, I think this may be the last thing I'm gonna talk about, or second to last thing. Let me show you guys some of the hand-painted uh, features. So, looking at the hand-painted details, the most obvious hand-painted uh, portion of the inflatable is the window right here, the cross going down it. You can obviously the sh see the strokes of the paint. Really cool, and the other window has the same exact thing. If you look inside, if you look at the snowman's face, his cheeks, eyes, and mouth are hand painted along with the eyes on the uh, penguins. And that goes the same with the Santa. You no, know, it's a little hard to see with the you know plastic being wet right now, but you can see pretty well. You can see the strokes on the eyebrows. And that's the same here, the little berries on the tree, on not the tree, the wreath. And look up here, same, same with the chimney, you can actually see it's a little messy right there, you can see where some of the paint splattered, stuff like that. Uh, yeah, I, I believe that's everything I need to show you with the hand painted uh, details. So the last topics I just wanted to talk about before I end this video is that if you look in between the boots of the elf, you actually see some handwriting on the red fabric. And this is really cool. I'm not sure whose handwriting this is, but it's I think it's trying to show or um, you know the specifications of the size and color of the fabric. Who knows? Maybe it's someone at the Jemmy, you know, Industries Corporation or. In the at the factory site in China, some worker there. But who knows? I just thought that was really, really cool. And I figured I'd show you guys both before I end the video. And the very, very last thing I wanted to talk about is that is the box of this guy. Sadly, this one did not come with the prototype box. It just literally came inside one of the Keurig Brewers box. I don't know why he came in that box, but that's what it came in. So sadly, I don't have it. And I, I would have showed you guys today if I did, but I don't. So yeah, I believe that's everything I wanted to discuss. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I absolutely love this inflatable. I know this was highly anticipated by some. I know I got comments in previous videos and videos from even last year asking if I could do a review on this one. And uh, well, I'm glad I finally got the chance to do it. So I hope you guys are all well and safe and I hope you guys have an amazing new year today. I hope 2021 is a great year for all of us. So until next time, stay safe and healthy and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.